Good afternoon, my beautiful people of the internet. Andrew here. <clears throat> Goddamn. Haven't been talking for a while. <laughs> so right now we are waiting at Route 51 stop 1305. Yay. For Route 51A that will turn into Route 51 that will take me to Ainsley Terminal back home in Galt. Well, not really back home, but Galt will always be home to your boy. And supposedly these things come at, hopefully I'm right or I'm gonna look like a complete douche in a minute because they always come eight minutes before the half hour, if you know what I mean. You probably don't because, bitch. Either you're stupid or I'm stupid or it could just be a mixture of the, a mixture of both. Because, I, mean, I don't know. I really need to stop calling you guys stupid because it's not really good for business. Oh, there she is. Route 51A. Let me, ooh, God. Let me get my, I was about to say health card. No, I don't need my health card out. I need my bus pass. One sec, guys. So, right now we got a new Flyer Excelsior 2017 model, so, yay. Let me lift that up a bit, get these off so I can actually see you guys, or see me. <laughs> Man, I can't see you guys, so. And I don't think we're at the spot of popularity for a fan meetup yet, and my camera lens looks so freaking dirty. Beautiful. Bus pass is away. Oh yes, yeah, like every time we have to show you my ugly bus pass. It's just like tradition at this point. <laughs> So, today's mission will be a simple one because I have to go to the shopper's drug mart down in Galt to refill a prescription because the doctors think your boy's crazy and he needs antidepressants. Said antidepressants, but I think they're pretty damn right though because <laughs> your boy is crazy, but not in the way you think. Did everything just go dark? Did everything just go dark? What the hell? But yeah. Okay, that's better. So, yeah. I guess this is just the, what am I trying to say? Yeah, it's prescription filled and yeah, so that's gonna be the beginning of the vlog. Then maybe we'll just wander around Galt for an hour or something, reminisce on the good old times, and I don't know. Please stand by, I'll see you guys at Ainsley. Well guys, I'm back. I'm still on the bus, but now as you can see, we're at the Cambridge Center Mall, which is pretty freaking cool. Not really. I'm here every day because work reasons, but Personally, my favorite mall in the area has to be Fairview Park because you're allowed recording there. Oh, and there it goes. Why is that an ion bus? That's, you, you see that? It's Route 50. And there's an ion bus behind us too, but why is Route 50 an ion bus? That is so weird. You usually don't see those kind of buses on normal routes because they're built specially for a certain route, so I don't know. Okay, well, let's not get into bus talk, but because you know, if we go down that rabbit hole, we'll be there for a while, but <laughs> yeah. But I completely forgot at the beginning of the video, I need to thank you guys because yesterday we hit 30 subscribers. Like, holy crap. I can't believe it. Like, it's like always kind of a. Honestly, the first eight months of the channel. I was like stalled at between one and six subscribers and literally for the first, the first
first subscriber I got was from the video I made at Fairview Park. Now there goes the Ion bus. The bus that's supposed to use that kind of bus, but the first subscriber I got was when I did a video at Fairview Park back in June last year, which really sucked. And that video is up like to a hundred views for my standard. That's pretty fucking good. So I just have to thank you guys for that because honestly, I can't believe it. Like, but it's weird. I was stalled at six subscribers in October and seven to 30 went pretty fast. <laughs> I'm just thrilled guys. And you know what that means though, like subscribers, the numbers, views mean absolutely nothing to me as a bragging right, but just the feeling that people watch and enjoy the content I create. Nova bus. It's just such a good feeling. And the fans I've gotten now, like, you guys are amazing. Like, I literally can't thank you enough for all the support, all everything, even through my couple rough times when I literally had to go to the nut house, but okay, enough with the sentimental talk. And I think we're leaving the Cambridge Center Mall now, which is yay. I'm being bored of this place. I am going to do a video here before work though, because a couple new stores opened. The Rogers store moved to the food court and just some new stuff's going on there. There's a new Dollarama sign. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll show you guys more of that when we do the video here. But today's vlog, I'm thinking I have to walk down to, I have to walk down to Shoppers Drug Mart from, what's it? Ainsley Terminal. Then I have to go back to Ainsley Terminal. Maybe we'll do a different route. Maybe we'll walk through Millerys Park because we haven't done a video there in a minute. And yeah, let's just see what time it is. I don't have to be at work until four, so good. And I was watching one of my friend's videos yesterday and he told me the Ashley's Furniture Store we did about four months back is being repurposed into a car dealership so I'm definitely gonna have to do another video there a construction update see what's going on but we'll save that for that video because the reveal and how pissed off I'm gonna get is going to be marvelous <laughs> and according to the sign over there this bus will be leaving in one minute so yay you guys don't know you know i love these beasts but you guys don't know how much i do want to drive though like imagine having my own car being able to do all the stuff i want to do for you guys without worrying about oh will the go bus take me there oh can i get there on the bus oh do i have to get a train somewhere oh do i have to do that stuff like i love riding trains buses streetcars and all that but Yeah, but that's the life I live in. I've kind of accepted the fact that I'll never be able to drive again. Really never drove in the first place. Like I was planning to get my license, but God or whoever is up there had different plans for me, but well, self-driving cars are in the future. So your boy might be good, but I know I always joke around about, thank you, Judy. You know I always joke around, but look at that. Why in Speed Tits is Route 50 an Iowa bus? That is so weird. And why did I just say why in Sweet Tits? That is also extremely weird, but. Why? But, like I was saying though, I know I always joke around about being blind, but it is kind of sucks. The limitations you get and 
even my therapist and other people at CNIB, if you don't know who they are, it's the Canadian National Institute for the Blind, they're suggesting I start walking around with a white cane because we've had a couple close calls in the last couple months and I don't want to because I'm still thinking it could get better, maybe a pair of glasses, but I guess it's still kind of denial. Okay, let's not talk about that anymore. But, yeah. Why are you a freaking No, not a Nova bus, um, Ion bus. Route 50 Dundas. KFC. That used to be an old Arby's. Fun fact, my mom used to work at that old Arby's, and you can see there, there's the Applebee's we checked out back in the day. Which, in fun fact, was also my hundreds video I did for the channel, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, reminiscing. But, yeah. Shit, I can't believe we're almost at the year mark, but. I'm not planning anything for the year mark because we might not make it, but. Because I don't tempt fate. I don't tempt fate, guys. I need to do a video there when the market's open because that would be pretty freaking cool. Station. Judy, yes, I know we're at Canamera Station. Speaking of Canamera Station, after I'm done the part of getting my prescription, I'm gonna come back on the Ion bus, get off at Canamera Station, and do another walk down Hesler Road because last time we did that was fucking fun. It was a fun video. And a lot has changed on Hesler Road. Some new construction, some new stuff. And we'll end this vlog off at the abandoned Ashley's or soon to be unnamed car dealership that will be revealed in that video. Or maybe whenever I feel like revealing it because I know the suspense is killing you. <laughs> Again with the maniacal laughter. created the rocket, so it's a nice story. Oh, and we also watched that place be demolished, too. I guess we're at Hesler Road and Bennett, according to Judy, but I don't know. Dr. Pandy's office. Lovely. Do you guys remember before this overpass was built, there used to be like a little white church in the corner down by Max Mill. Delta. That's going to be chaotic. 
supposedly they're going to be down in Hespler too, like there's going to be a station by Riverside Park for the Ion, but I'm not sure. But they're not breaking ground until 2028 supposedly, so the Ion bus is good enough, guys. We do not need LRT in Cambridge. Buses, why the hell was Route 50 an ion bus? There's so many different buses. We they can use Route 50, so why was it an ion bus? It makes me confused. And when I get confused, I get angry. And I'm also hungry, so I'm confused and hangry. <laughs> uh, uh, you you gotta love it. You got to love it. See that it's, uh, those two cash money in hearing life? I'm sorry, Kiefer. I don't want to be stealing all your video ideas, but I'm trying to because those are pretty cool and we do the same kind of content, so we're going to be stepping on each other's toes once in a while. So, deal with it. But the history of those two places were awesome, so I might do a video. We did talk about the cash money back in my job interview from Hill vlog, which, oh my god, that was back in July, I think, or early June. No, not early June, early August. There's GCI. Oh my god, look at that sky. That sky looks fucking amazing. Today is going to be a great day for some filming. Today is going to be a great day for some filming, guys. Ainsley and Simcoe. According to Judy, we're now at Ainsley and Simcoe. But that's where we need to go, Shoppers Drug Mart, and I really need to change my pharmacy closer to freaking Hespler. My legal address might be in Hespler, but I'll always be a true gold man. <laughs> I love gold. I'm back, bitches. It's only been four days, but I'm back. I don't like how they painted this place. The old kind of, it looks kind of cool, but I'm conflicted on that one. It's like, it doesn't look trashy, but like what they're doing with Southworks, but it looks, again, they should just leave well enough alone. If it's not broken, don't fix it. But it's kind of cool. You can see how they did all of that kind of stuff. We're gonna walk past it anyway, so I can talk about it more, but I don't know. I don't know, and I don't care. <sighs> I am so tired. I didn't sleep well last night. I need to stop complaining about my personal life on this channel. But, like I said from the beginning, I want this to be like old 2006 YouTube, where we're real. Like, I don't mind the fucking swearing, obviously, but I don't know, like I understand the whole monetization. Judy, girl, what the fuck? I understand the whole monetization thing, like swearing is like the taboo, but yeah, fuck everybody, fuck you, fuck me, fuck. Susan Wazinski, the YouTube person, and yeah, fuck everybody. That's what I think. That's what I think. <laughs> that barbershop used to be the problem Panther Tattoo, where I got all my work done. Goddamn, Bri, I miss you. You were fucking awesome, and yeah. Feels just like yesterday I was here. Well, it was kind of Tuesday, but... No, last Tuesday. See, guys, Ion buses should be for Route 302. Ion bus, not... Into the channel. Protect yourself and those you love. Get vaccinated. slash limits. You heard Judy, get vaccinated, but... We're not going down that rabbit hole today because you know my stance about vaccinations and all that. Just get it. But I can go on for hours about 
this convoy or something, but I know, just controversy. And bitch, I love controversy, so we will do it, but not today. Thank you. Well, guys, we're back outside. Oh, that feels good. That feels fucking good. All right. And we're back home in Gulf, bitches, which is amazing. Woo. I love the feeling of the wind on my face. The Gulf air is so much nicer than the Hespler air. Well, Maybe the air air is better than the fucking Hespler air, the Gold air, but I don't know. I was actually looking at places in air, but bitch, it's too expensive there. Well, there's 302i on bus, a magnificent new flyer Excelsior, and I don't care. All right, let's head down to Shoppers Drug Mart because your boy needs his crazy pills. <laughs> And literally, I'm literally getting antidepressants today, so. <laughs> Why the hell am I telling you this? You don't need to know I'm crazy. And you're probably like, Andrew, your, your craziness is part of the whole thing we're here for. And I know, because if I wasn't crazy, this would just be another boring vlog channel. But being a fucking psycho bitch makes things a tad bit more entertaining in my opinion. Oh God. Am I going to need a wind warning today? I don't know. Hopefully not. The GoPro is usually good for wind. There's another Ion bus. Another magnificent creature. Ooh. So. One of my long-term viewers, Wanderbred, said there's a Cold War shelter in Kitchener, which, bitch, I didn't even know that fucking existed, so. If I can figure out how to get there, I'll definitely check it out, because that sounds fun. So, and, I don't know. Also, my friend Kiefer says there's like a hockey stick factory he wants me to check out, and, Again, I need to figure out how I'm going to get there because blind guy navigating, it's fun, but it's difficult, <laughs> but eh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out, guys. So, 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 so. House of bamboo. It's not that bad out today. Just wore a sweater, so snow's kind of not nice, but mm hmm. Hey, people of the internet, Andrew's reflection here. By people of the internet, Andrew's reflection is gone. Ha. See, this was the place that used to be Crawling Panther Tattoo. A place owned by Bry and Andy, who. <laughs> They were awesome traditional tattoo artists. I mean, they made some great stuff. And except one piece on me, that was my fault for getting. It's not his fault. The tattoo turned out awesome, but something personal why I want to get that covered up. But other than that, I love everything Bri has made for me. Every last piece he's made for me and it's going to be hard to find somebody that's going to replace it. Bitch, you're supposed to wait for the pedestrian to cross completely. <sighs> I think everybody that drives a truck who doesn't need, need it for work is a douchebag, so. Have you noticed truck drivers always think they can get away with fucking everything? Not those truck drivers, those truck drivers are awesome. Here, here, but especially the garbage disposal people. But I'm talking about people. 
I'm making nice comments about you and you're still being too fucking loud. But I mean, people like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yes, pickup trucks. Because unless you need it for, like, you're a farmer, you do landscaping, stuff like that, there's no need for you to drive one. Look at all these cars that you could drive. You don't need a fucking pickup truck. Bitch, you'd probably look more cool in a fucking VW Bug or something. Just, yeah, that'd be awesome, like... If I could drive any car, it would be a Volkswagen Bug or Beetle or whatever the fuck they call them. You know me, I know jack shit about cars and I don't really want to learn about them either because it's just a depressing topic, but y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. And look at the sky today, guys. It is so awesome. Yeah, there goes the route we were just on. He better not have been honking at me. Oh, maybe he was doing it positively. I don't know, but... I don't know. I always think the worst out of people, but... Yeah, I might have, I might have dealt with some fucking crazies, but I've also dealt with a lot of really cool people. At Timmy's, a bunch of employees wanted to say hello, which was fucking amazing. And, yeah. But then some people are like, I'm so not okay with you recording. You need permission to film in this store. You can't film here. And not allowed, fat pig. But other than that, we've had some pretty fucking cool, amazing things. People are really butthurt about people filming for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why. We're not hurting anybody. It's just people being a bunch of pricks. And I don't need to deal with that negativity. Positivity is all that I want on this channel. Well, 80% positivity, 90% 90% negative. Well, I thought fuck am I talking about 80-20 maybe, but not 80-90. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. Oh, God damn it, my shoes are wet. Got in a fucking puddle. But, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, that convenience store I did yesterday was pretty fucking cool. I had to make the, the thumbnail kind of, uh, what's it? I put Judge Judy in the little shortstop because so much fucking copyright infringement and trademark violations going up going on in that bitch I don't know what was going on there a little short shop not little short stop little stop shop or a little shop stop or a little blah, 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 blah. I don't know it confuses me to this day and there is another ion bus gorgeous gorgeous and a FedEx truck ha. maybe not as gorgeous than that but Bitch. You see a theme going on here. I just like bigger vehicles. <laughs> like to me, cars look pretty much exactly the same. Well, that was also before, you know. But even before then, I felt the same way. Even before then, I felt the same way. But yeah, I don't know. What am I going to call this a vlog, though? What am I going to call this a vlog? Refilling a prescription before work? Hespler wrote something? I don't know. You you obviously know because you clicked on it, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Wouldn't it be cool if YouTube actually had a feature like you would, you wouldn't see the title until I told you within the video? So we could figure it out together when I have that light bulb moment. <laughs> My old apartment, 95 Cambridge Street. 
I missed that place. It was pretty cool. It was on fire like 800 times, but other than that, it was pretty cool. It was pretty fucking cool. Is the wind bad, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we have a wind warning for a reason, and your boy's broke. He only has a GoPro and a couple phones lying around, but so no fancy microphones, bitches. And like I always say in every wind warning, wind is a side effect of filming outdoors. And if you don't like that, you can fuck off immediately. That's what I think. Yeah. All right, we're almost at shop. That wasn't a bad walk at all. Forgot that was such a short walk. Going from Canamera Station to Ashley's Furniture Warehouse or Furniture Store or Furniture, whatever the fuck it's called. Might be a bit of a longer walk. Maybe I could catch a 51 here, I don't know. Or maybe walking back would be good for my glutes. Because y'all know you need to take good care of your glutes. Y'all know you need to take excellent Claire, excellent Claire. Like what the fuck? Who the fuck's Claire? Bitch, I don't know who Claire is, but ah, uh, for God's sakes. 51 to Ainsley. If you guys think I talk about buses too much, fuck off. Because I like talking about buses and that's pretty much what it is. Whew. Come on, bitch. And we're gonna film in the store too, because not, not when I'm at the freaking uh, what's it. Come on, free delay truck. Pedestrians have the right of way. Oh crap, the free delay truck's pulling into the fucking. Oh, there's another ion bus. And my feet are soaking wet. Wonderful. That's gonna be a fun day at work now. Yeah, back in your little truck depot. Oh, bitch. Cut me off. Yeah, hide in your little truck depot. <laughs> yeah, probably the guy driving that is 20 times more terrifying than I am, so. Not somebody I want to piss off by any means, but yeah. Ah, oh, what the fuck. All right, let's go get my crazy pills. Let's oh, go get my fucking crazy pills. So anything saying I can't, no, no photography allowed. All right, please stand by. Well guys, I dropped off my prescription. It's gonna be done by tomorrow morning. And look, it's not too hard, guys. Like, if you don't want people to film in your store, just do that. Just put something like that there. It's not that hard. Ugh. Like, you get yelled at so many times for filming, but there's no notice on the door saying you can't, so. And if there is a notice, it's just something called respect. Like, maybe I understand there because there's a lot of sensitive information like prescriptions and all that kind of stuff. So I completely understand where they're coming from. Oh, there's my free lay friend over there. Can you see him? Hmm. All right. So let's go walk down this way, I guess, then. I have one pill at home, so. And he was like, I'm gonna have to fax it to your doctor. It might take a couple days. I'm like, I can't be off of those pills for more than 24 hours or extremely bad things can happen. That's exactly what the doctor said. <laughs> Maybe a bit more professionally, but he said just, you can, those, they're narcotic, so you cannot just be going off pills and what in holy hell is going on here? Really? bitch they even leave their equipment up here like come on but yeah we'll head back to Ainsley now but yeah like like I was saying though if you could put a door if sign on your door saying no recording allowed yeah shit 
kind of sucks that you can't do it, but it's private property and I respect their decision. That's pretty much it. But when people come yell at you for recording in quote unquote private property, your choice, man. I was on the fucking sidewalk, you twat, but oh boy. I wish I kept that goddamn video of him yelling at me. You guys think I'm over dramatic, but no, he was such a fucking dick and I recorded the whole thing. But that was like video 25 and I was still kind of scared of being sued and all that kind of bullshit. So I don't know. I don't know. I bowl. Literally the seediest bowling alley in the entire fucking city. We need to go check that place out. <laughs> Oh, guys, bright. Yeah. One nice thing about having masks because when it's windy like this, it keeps your face warm. There is a reason for my madness. There's always a reason for my madness. Let's walk down this way. Pedestrians have the right of way, bitch. <laughs> I like taking my sweet ass time when people are trying to slowly turn and keep going when you're walking. I'm not a dick, but if they're gonna wait like they're supposed to, I'll try to go as fast as I can, but if they're trying to slowly inch themselves into the turn, bitch, I'm taking my sweet ass time. Oh boy, here's the wind. Here's the wind, guys. Oh, ambulance. Maybe because we're by the river, let's face that way. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yep. A wind warning will be required, I think. But, it wasn't that much wind when I first started, so... Ah, oh, geese! Yeah, so welcome back to Mill Race, guys. It's been a minute. There's the arch that collapsed back in 2020 when somebody hit it. They still haven't been able to rebuild it, unfortunately. Hopefully one day they will, but... It looks a lot better than the fucking crumbling structure that was there, but... Bitch, I miss it. So, yeah. So, 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 so... I don't know, I'm, I'm tired. It's windy, I'm miserable. Okay. You can see fucking the river and I bet you the wind's coming off the river, so, bitch. No, we're not doing that today. Oh God, I almost fell. That would've been fucking hilarious. I just love the structure of Mill Race though. It's so amazing. Yeah, Hespeler is nice, but it doesn't compare to downtown Galt at all. All you Hespeler people might want to argue that, but bitch, I'm a Hespeler person now myself, and I'm still on Team Galt. So, take it as you will. Take it as you fucking will. Yeah, we'll walk down the main street over there, and my god, my ears are freezing. So, yeah, let me just enjoy for a couple minutes, just take in the beauty. Not the beauty of those two fucking monstrosities. Oh, did they take the scaffolding down off Central Church yet? Bitch, we're gonna have to go check that out real quick before we head down to the bus terminal. We'll have to go check that out real quick. Because it looks like they did. The two steeple effect is back, which is pretty fucking awesome. What's not pretty fucking awesome is the concrete goliaths behind it that look ugly as sin, but 
No, we only save that conversation for our gas like construction updates, which another one isn't due for another maybe middle of March. Because I just don't want to be repeating myself constantly and just nothing being new to show you guys. So I always wait at least, I don't know, about three months in between. Big. I don't know. I just have a thing against truckers. Like, not those truckers, pickup truckers, or whatever the fuck you call them yourselves. I'll call you small dicked juice, <laughs> juice bags. What the fuck's a juice? Juice. Juice. I call you small dicked douche bags that are compensating for something. I know it. Like, you're compensating for something. We all know what you're doing and why you're doing it. It's not gonna work, bitch. It's not gonna work. So yeah. Yeah, there's just something magical about downtown Galt. I just can't get over it. I could do a video down here every day. I might run out of things to say, but... Yeah. Put my... Keep forgetting I have a fucking hood. Andrew, goddamn, you're a moron, but... My, I said my ears are cold. And bitch, you have a hood. Oh, God. Hey, my feet are certainly fun to dry off from last time. <laughs> so cold. But, yeah, whatever. So tomorrow we'll do uh, Hespler, I guess, because I'm off tomorrow and, you know, I just don't like sitting around home, which is the only reason I really do this. And, yeah. Then I'm working for the rest of the week and maybe I get paid, so we'll go back to Toronto because doing stuff in Toronto is fun. It's fucking fun. It's enjoyable. It's just fun. Just making sure my battery's at 44% and we're still on the first one. Good, good, good. I have five batteries, so I think we're fine, but... Benefit about using GoPros, though, is you can get, like, cheap batteries for a dime a dozen. So... And the three... No, no name. Like, what is this? Grocery store? The three third-party ones I got were... I think about 30 bucks for three of them. And they work as just as well as... They work just as well as the, what's the word I'm looking for? Official GoPro ones. So, now I just need to afford a couple more batteries and a one terabyte SD card. Bitch, those are still like $300 though, so. You can get two 512s for less than a one terabyte. I think two 512s might cost you about 150 If you get them on sale, at least, on Amazon. Because SD cards are on sale on Amazon, like, every other day. Which is nice. Maybe every third day. No, let's not be too hasty. Well, yep, guys. The scaffolding is off after almost a year of not being able to see that beautiful looking steeple. But yeah, I hate crossing here. It's so confusing. People want to turn, go around in corners. Then like this douche who wants to fucking drive like a normal person. Ugh. 
Yeah, it's a call everybody a douche. Get over it. Literally, it took me from Shoppers Drug Mart to get down here. It took me 11 minutes and uh, 12 minutes now because I didn't want to say 57 seconds. Very good. Look at all the birds, guys. Awesome. Awesome. Look at all them. Look at all those motherfuckers. Oh, and they're all flying on the roof of Melville's. Train horn, lovely. Uh, yeah. That means I can't show you the train from over there going over the bridge. Ah, damn it. We don't have a lot of train content. Like we have a lot of light rail and subway content, but not enough like normal freight locomotive type content, which is pretty awesome as well. Hey, so slushy. I'm okay with the deep snow, but when it gets slushy, that's what I'm not okay with. Oh, goody, we can just cross. Now let's just hope there's no classic Nova LFS's at Ainsley so I don't have to run like a little bitch. And yeah, copyright claim, copyright claim, copyright claim, copyright claim. No, we can't have copyright claims today. But yeah, whatever, whatever. What's going on there? Is that like, like some sort of fruit truck? What's on that truck? Yes, I know you love your trips down the tunnel of despair, but... Your boy is very easily distracted. You know that. Strawberries, that's what it was. <laughs> well... That really didn't take much time because we're already almost there. Yep, Strub Cisco, lovely. Title of the video, I think. Picking up my crazy pills and walking down Hessler Road. <laughs> yes. Then the other two videos will be I was thinking maybe do it all in one big vlog, but then... You know people don't pay attention to pinned comments and descriptions telling people to go to this certain section of a video when to watch this certain content. So... Because 90% of the clientele of YouTube are morons, I have to split my videos up. Which makes things more complicated, more editing, more uploading, which also equals more views. So, okay, I can deal with that one. I'll just accept more views, but honestly, I would prefer, not prefer, I would much rather just have a, that is what prefer means, isn't it? Let me get my mask on so I can get on that freaking Ion bus. Reminds me of the good old days, 200 I Express. Me driving down to Conestoga Mall on the bus, walking around Charles Street Terminal, and yeah. And that bus is leaving, isn't it? I don't know. Okay, we're running, we're running. I'm sorry guys, I promised I wouldn't run like a douchebag, but I don't have a choice. Well, let me get my wallet. Let me get my wallet. Alright. 
We made it. We made it on board. So. I guess we'll take this to Canamera Station and we'll walk down to the old Ashley's. Then we'll end things off there. So, I guess please stand by. I'll see you guys at Canamera Station. Many, many minutes later. Well, my beautiful people of the internet, I did something really stupid. And I talked to myself for literally 17 minutes. Uh, why? Why? Just. Why? Ooh, lens flare. All right, time for a story time, guys. Boo the wind. So right now we're at Pine Bush Station. I know I promised you Canamera Station, but we kind of did get off at Canamera Station and I did the stupidest fucking thing I could have imagined. Stupider than normal. So this vlog is going to be a lot fucking shorter. So, I'm sorry bitches, I know, I know, I know, I know, I am so pissed off right now. So, whatever. Alright guys, what did Andrew do that was so fucking stupid? He, and I quote, when you push the side button on a GoPro, the power button, it cycles between the modes, so it goes from hyperlapse to standard filming and pictures. So for some reason, I must have pushed that button when I was turning it on. Maybe I double clicked it or something like that happened and it turned to fucking photo mode. So I pushed. Okay, let me keep the mask on. So I pushed. Why can't you just stay on you fucker? It's cold. Oh, fuck it. Come on. Beautiful. So I pushed photo mode somehow. So I pushed the record button and started talking to you. Showed you the satellite motel, all that kind of stuff. And when I was about 17 minutes into the video, which wasn't even recording, I may add, I noticed that the red bar that signifies, oh, your video's recording, wasn't there. And I was like, oh fuck, maybe it's just like a little glitch or something. Then when I looked into my viewfinder, because honestly, when I record like this, I don't look into the viewfinder. I just look forward and just hope you guys see what I see. I know, I know, I'm a naughty bitch. I'm a naughty bitch. But, oh God, Wendy. But for 17 minutes, I was talking to myself like a dumbass. Yep. For 17 fucking minutes, your boy was talking to himself like a dumbass, which is honestly really bad. really really bad so I got to camera center and I was like okay what's going on here so I stopped the recording went to my previously recorded shit and guess what I saw one photo Fuck. instead of a 17 minute video I had one fucking photo so I wasted 17 minutes of my life wasted at least 35% battery life and just for a fucking goddamn photo. That makes me feel sad. I'm sad. Because even though I wasn't recording, the screens were on, all that. <sighs> Fuck me. I am so pissed. So yeah, if you keep your screens on, it does zap some battery life away, but uh, I am so pissed. 
I was literally talking to myself for 17 minutes like a jackass. <laughs> and it was such a fun conversation too. It was an awesome fucking conversation. We got into some pretty controversial and deep stuff. But you guys will never be able to view it because I will never be able to view it because for some ungodly reason I thought it would be a good idea to fucking take a photo instead of starting a recording. You are an idiot! <laughs> I know guys, I'm sorry. But these motherfuckers really need to stop turning on fucking red lights. I hate them. I hate them so much. They can die in fire. Mm, maybe that was a tad bit dramatic. Dying in fire is a tad bit dramatic. Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? So, as a little consolation, I am going to do a quick update here at the Williams Fresh Cafe or the Douchey Bank Establishment, which is now more resembling than ever. Let's do one quick walk around. God damn it, Andrew. Well, it looks like they're putting on the new facade. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Some just, um, I guess. That must just be because it's fucking cold out. And the back of the restaurant is completely changed. So the Williams Cafe label scar is gone. Oh shit, that sucks. That makes me feel sad. I'm sad. That sucks. But, yeah, I don't know. It sucks this place closed though. It was expensive, but it was pretty good. They had some pretty good food here. But, obviously this bank likes taking over restaurants because they're turning a Turtle Jacks into this same thing, which kind of sucks, but I don't know. Yep, so that's what she's gonna look like at the end. And that's what she looks like now. So, yeah. I'm still so fucking pissed <laughs> about, oh my God, Andrew, I was walking around with a fucking camera that wasn't even recording. I was taking a battery life that I could have been used for something else. Oh, fuck me. No wonder the screen kept going black faster than normal. He's like, you know how the GoPro screen dims? Huh. That's probably the goddamn reason. That's probably the goddamn reason. Okay, let's see how much money I have in my account. All right, I got $2.80. I'm gonna go get myself a donut because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. <sighs> and I'm pissed off. And when I'm pissed off, I like junk food. Well, I like junk food even when I'm happy, but I like it more when I'm pissed off. Like walking around for 17 minutes like a fucking douchebag not recording anything well I already look like a douchebag in the first place but I look even more like a douchebag but hey Andrew 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 when will you goddamn learn 
your lesson. Should I just get a bus right here? Should I just get a bus right here and go back to the mall, maybe? Should I just get a bus right here? From this distance, it kind of looks like a Nova too, so. Could just be an Excelsior. That looks like a Nova, but. I knew it guys look I saw this beast I knew it was her I knew it was a classic LFS Makes me feel slightly better, guys. That makes me feel slightly better. It's gonna move down here for a bit. Because we usually don't get to see this. saw it in the distance I was like is that a classic Nova <laughs> I had a feeling it was that's why I kept saying maybe I should take the bus but I wasn't trying to get myself too excited for this guy of the car wash is being built. <laughs> Because back in July, the ION buses did stop at Smart Centers. So that's why they use the announcement, but for some reason, they're still using it, so weird. Weird. What time is it? Yep, we can take this back guy to Ainsley. Then we'll take it back up to Camber Center. Then I guess we'll do my Camber Center video. Then we'll worry about the Ashley's Furniture Store later on. Maybe do that tomorrow when I pick up my medication. 
but yeah. tired guys to be honest it's kind of tired a lot of walking though like for a fat guy at least <laughs> myself like an idiot for 17 minutes. <laughs> well, I'll figure something cool out. We'll figure out a cool, good old name for this. Those people behind us are very loud though. That's why. What an intriguing conversation. Well, guys, I think we should just probably end it off here then, because I'm just going to ride this bus, enjoy myself, try to talk mom into maybe sending me some lunch money, and we'll come back here to do the video when I feel a bit more alive, and yeah. Well, this vlog was a disaster, but, but whatever, whatever. So guys, I guess, like always, live life to the fullest, and goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers. God bless.